I'm going to concentrate a little bit on uh, the topic of speed of play. And uh, what we're going to try to do is uh, the, the last uh, part is a little bit complex. And I'm hoping that this group will be able to handle it. But it's critically important as players progress, it's easy to function in the defensive third. It's easy to function, easier to function in the middle third. It's very complicated to function in the attacking third. So what I'm going to do is finish off with a, uh, a shooting game, concentrating on speed of play and shooting. Okay, and we're going to progress from uh, working on technical speed to working on technical tactical speed and finishing with uh, speed of play and ability to finish at speed. All right, so um, this group, I mean, technically they look pretty decent. So I sort of wanted to give you a synopsis. And for those of you that were not here, you know, in the first session that I did, one of the things I said to the larger group was the development of the game in the United States and where we need to, what is the next phase for us. And so the next phase for us in terms of the development of the game in America is the ability of our players. We already take for granted that the elite players in America have the technical and physical tools to function at the highest level. Okay, what we don't have is the ability to um, uh, function consistently in the decision-making process. And that's my emphasis in the previous session, and that's going to be my emphasis in this session. Okay, so give me a minute to organize the boys, and then we'll get going. Okay, gentlemen, please come in. Okay, this is it for you. This is the last session. So after that, I hope you guys, uh, I hope the Capital District uh, League takes you out for a nice steak dinner, you know, on them, right? You guys earned it. How many of you guys do we have? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Perfect. We have uh, goalkeepers? Okay, perfect. Uh, in the end, you have gear, right? Okay, perfect. All right, so let's, uh, let's go... Um, uh, start out with a group of three, so three, 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 and three, one ball. Uh, let's have one player on the line here, one player in the middle, and one player on the other side, all right, with one ball. Boys, you don't have to be on top of each other. Give yourself some space. So just let's use the whole gym. Yeah. All right. Let, let's uh, everybody. Uh, let's uh, all the balls here. The starting position will be here. Okay. So what I want you to do is. You're going to pass the ball, right, to the middle player. Middle player, dribble the ball to the player, right? Dribble around, pass the ball to the opposite player at full speed, go to that player, right? So here's just to demonstrate. Dribble, give him the ball. Keep on going, full speed, lead him, lead him, lead him. Pass him the ball, go around, lead him, full speed, okay, lead him, okay, good, so uh, come back, okay, we're ready, and go, full speed dribble, come on, faster, faster, that you, let him dribble. Don't lead him. You make it easier. No, no, guys. Lead him the ball right there, right next to you. Give him the ball. Now you go. Otherwise, they don't dribble. Faster, faster. No technical breakdowns. 
This is speed of play. Let's go. Here we go. Whoever has the ball, next player, go. Next player. Interchange. Next player. Here we go. Change. Yeah, you're in. Go. Faster, faster, faster. It's too slow. So, so as you increase the speed, the technical level is probably going to break down. So you have to make the demands based on their technical ability. So you, you can see some kids are stronger, some kids are technically weaker. And uh, here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Yes. And switch. The last player who didn't go. And go. For speed, dribble with the outside of the foot. For speed, come on. Left, right, interchange. Here we go. Come on. Okay, original player. Again, let's go, quickly. Come on, and go. I said dribble, not pass. So this is really physically demanding. So you could probably do it for about a minute or so. After that, you're sucking wind. And switch. And switch. The coaches, remember, the game is always mobile, so try not to do stationary, uh, stationary drills. Here we go. Next. Next one, stop, okay. The same thing, the same thing, only this time, this time when you get the ball, you get the ball, you know, st stay there, stay there. So you get the ball, I pass you the ball, pass it back to him, and now sprint around, lead him, and now pass it again, pass it. Accurately, come lead him, pass it. Right foot, left foot. Ready? Go. Let's go. You got to give him a quality ball. Come on. Yes. Lead him. Pass it. Both feet. Use your left. Use your right. Come on. Full speed. You guys are too slow. I can run fast. I'm 63. And switch. Next player, go. Next player, go. Well 
Well done, well done. Push it, push it, push it, push it. Come on. Yay. Okay, good. First group, stop, stop. Okay, so now what, what we're going to do is <clears throat> um, you're going to come, okay, come around. I lead you. Hold on, hold on, slow down. I lead you, pass him the ball, pass him back the ball, pass him back the ball. Exactly. So as you're running, you're getting the ball back full speed. Control, pass it back to him, and come around. You understand? Uh, just demonstrate. Okay, so pass it back to him, lead him. No, no, the other side. You got to lead. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Pass him, pass it back. Yeah, you got to give it back to him. So try it again. Pass it, get it, pass it back, come around. Yes, perfect. Okay, here we go. Ready, go. Accurately, guys. Make it easy. See, some of the passes here, they dump it like it's a loaf of bread, you know? And basically, the, the pass is sucks, and then they say, okay, it's your problem. You take care of it. Where the idea is the player that passes the ball has to make it easy for the player receiving the ball. Therefore, it has to be perfect. So instead of making an effort, you know, you know, some of the players, you know, they're probably tired, so they're like dumping it, and it's your problem to take care of it, rather than saying, okay, I'm gonna make it easy as possible for my teammate. Okay, switch. So if you do this initially in terms of speed of play, they should be sucking wind in the first third of the of the session because they should be going all out, full speed, uh, as it relates to their technical ability. Because you can't run faster than your, your technique can handle it. So you can go up to the speed of your technical ability. Yes, come on. Faster, faster. Is this the second player going? There's all kinds of variations. You can do it in threes, you can do it in fours, you know, so. Okay, good. Guys, go get a drink. Come on back. All right, so what we're going to do next is uh, we're going to have three groups of three with uh, a uh, resting group rotating them. And we're going to go six versus three at all times. So, uh, guys, one group get yellow bibs, one group get orange bib. The guys in blue, um, you guys stay. So I'm going to need three, 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 and three alternates. Three guys are not going to start. And so um, what we're going to do is six, six v three, uh, the entire length of the field, um, starting with unlimited touches, then limiting touches, and the idea is for them not to lose the ball and to beat the three and maintain possession
but what we're really concentrating on is how fast they're going to be making decisions, and as I said in my introduction, how many correct decisions that they make. Now, we have to take the surface into consideration. It complicates things, but uh, we will do that right now, okay? Huh? Um, yeah, there's, I, well, let me put it this way. Three guys in gray, right? Three guys in blue, three guys in, in yellow, and three guys in orange. Is, there is an orange? I guess they took the orange off. Okay, so, so the other three, that you, the three that are not going to start, you guys put on yellow, okay? Because the yellow will be, uh, will be the first group that comes off. Okay, so here's what we're doing, okay? The way it's going to work is we're playing six versus three, but the way it works is you're playing for possession, but I'm really looking to see how fast you're going to play. You know, so we're playing possession, but we're also looking for speed of play. Now, if one of the yellows loses the ball, all three are in the middle. So make sure that you don't lose the ball because the entire group goes in the middle. Everybody get that? So, uh, so let's say, um, okay, so yellow, you guys are going to start out in the middle. Give me the ball. All right. So right now, the six of you are playing together, right? Make sure you have space utilization. Whoever loses the ball, if the blue loses the ball, the blue in the middle, if you guys lose the ball, you're in the middle, and they come out. Yes. You're playing the entire uh, width of the field, yeah. All right? What? Oh, you got greens? Perfect. All right, so um, here we go. Make sure you use the space. Faster, faster. Yes. Keep it going. Find them. Yes. Turnover. You guys are in the middle. Hold on, hold on. So you're not under pressure, right? And you don't connect with him. The ball goes out of bounds. So you want to be rewarded for that? You guys are in the middle. Don't make a mistake. Ready? What the hell am I? In? You guys are in the middle. <laughs> I'm from Brooklyn, man. You know? Faster. On the ground. Okay. Settle it. Yes. Come support him. Come support him. Yes. Faster. Move the ball. Move the ball. Keep it going. Yes. Find him. Get here. Faster. Why are you dribbling? You're looking at him. There you go. Turnover. Yellow's in the middle. Ready? Play. Quickly. On the ground. Settle it. Settle it. You got time. You got time. Perfect. Don't hit the yellow. Was there a turnover? S hold on. Hold on. Let's get, let's get organized. Okay. So, boys, here's what we need to do. Okay? You, you have the ball, right? Let's say you have the ball. There has to be a player, one player there supporting, one player here supporting, one player has to be short, one player has to be there, and one player has to be there. This is what you call maximum space utilization, so that you need to spread the three of them out so they can't defend. So whenever, let's say the ball is switched to him, right? So now, what is the movement? He's the closest guy to support there. You're the closest guy to support here. Whoever's the shortest guy is going here, and you guys are there taking the space. So you see, it's not just random running. It has to be intelligent running. Sometimes it doesn't require running. So, for example, his running, if he ran there, would be a w complete waste of energy. You understand? Because he, if, he, if the ball is switched, all he has to do is take three steps. It's not an issue of running for the sake of running. It's an issue of running at the proper time 
to the proper space. That's why when you see professional teams, you don't see them running like youth players are. You look at a youth game, it's helter skelter. People are running all over the place. You look at a professional game, they only run when they have to run. Nobody is wasting their energy because none of us have insurmountable amounts of energy. So therefore, you only exert energy when you have to. Everybody says, how come the NBA players don't put out every game? They don't play the same way every game. They got 82 games. They can't play the same way every day, you know, put out the energy. They play intelligently and economically. And that's what we're asking these players to do now. Intelligently and economically. Ready? Play. Let's make decisions quicker. Help, help, get there. Find them. Yes, better ball. Turnover. Ready? Play. Turnover. You got to find players. Six versus three should be 20 passes without a mistake. Find them. Yes, turnover. And we didn't even go yet to a reduced number of... Uh... Guys, you have unlimited touches. Find them. What? Hold on. Why would you take an extra touch? He's right here. All you have to do is one touch it back to him. You ready? Play. Help, help him here. You're too slow. There you go. Make him run now. There you go. And give it back. Where do you go? Oh, well, they're not bright. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Guys, yellow team, you guys will always be in the middle. Why? Because there's two goalkeepers on the same team. Right? So let's w let one goalkeeper switch because, you know, we're technically deficient. Yeah, put another sucker on the yellow team. I'm nasty. So, so, but you know what? When you structurally, I don't know the kids, so Adam gave me a tip, you know? And, you know, I used to go to the racetrack, somebody gave me a tip, I go to Saratoga, I bet on the freaking horse. You know, but on the yellow team, you can't bet on the horse because the horse is lame because you got two goalkeepers that don't have any skill, you know? So you got to read the situation, you know what I mean? So if I lived in Albany, I probably couldn't figure it out, but I lived in Brooklyn, so we figured it out. All right? Ready? Play. Find him. Yes. Quicker, quicker. Yes. Make him run. Make him run. Don't. So let's make sure we get 15, 20 passes. Yes. Okay, technical breakdown. You know, he makes the pass. It's not accurate enough. All right? Ready? Play. Come on. Hold on, hold on. So remember, you're playing on a gym floor, you're serving the ball that's going to bounce. What are the chances of him being successful? When you have so many choices, you know what I mean? Okay, boys, coming in. So let's go, um, um, we'll go three groups, so, uh, Let's go four versus, no, five versus five. Uh, we'll, we'll rotate two. Uh, the two goalkeepers, you guys are off, okay? So let's say, uh, the, uh, the, is there five grays, right? Five grays. And uh, one, one red guy, uh, keep the thing on, because we have four, four blues, right? Okay, so now, we're going to play, we're going to play <clears throat> five versus five, two touch. Well, you know what? Let's start unlimited. So five versus five all over the field. Now, you see I put four goals on. So you guys can score in any one of the goals. But the way the goals will count is if, who has the, if you have the ball, if you have the ball, the only way the, 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 the goal counts, if we as teammates connect. 
So if you put the ball through, that's a goal. If there's nobody receiving it, it's not a goal. But the other thing in terms of speed of how to play, if these guys are lazy, then this is what we do. We score quickly, quickly score, come on. One, two, three, four, five, whatever. You go as fast as you can and score as many goals as you can if those guys are lazy on defense. Does everyone understand? Imagine this on a, large, on a half field outside and you, you know, here the distance is uh, unrealistic because the distances are too short because the defense can recover here. But on a full half field, if you put five goals all over the half field in every part, and you're playing 6v6 or 7v7, you know, you got to be really, really working. And so you have to, so everyone understand how you score goals, right? You can't, the goal doesn't count just putting it through. You have to re have a teammate on the other side. All right, ready? Ball, ball. All right, we're playing the entire field. We're playing the entire field. Oh yeah, I like you know I like blue. Go ahead, play, play. Boys, recognize where the goals are. Spread them out. Spread them out. Yes, all the grays are on one side. Play, find them, find them, yes. So if you score, keep score, yes, play it. Yes, play. I mean, one of the problems is that the numbers 5v5 complicates things because you don't have enough kids to wind up in different goals, but just realize in terms of speed of play that if you're playing 6v6 or 7v7 there should be a player on the other side of the goal being able to receive the ball and you can score from both short distances and long distances on the ground and in the air ready play Okay, goalkeepers, put on the reds. Ready, play. Ah, you got it almost. Goal, play. Okay, stop, stop for a second. Boys, so I'm going to put two neutrals. The goalkeepers, they can be on the, any side of a goal, wherever they want to be, to increase the chances of scoring. So you guys can, you will be, whichever team has possession of the ball, you guys can use them to score a goal. So goalkeepers, you can move to any goal. So you can move here, you can move there, you can move there. You understand? And you guys in the field can use them to score goals. Ready, play. So, you know, you have to be able to improvise on the fly um, just to increase the, the scoring opportunity, you know. But play. There you go. So you saw that that was a brilliant decision. He let it go. The goal was scored, you know. Sometimes a player, the ball is going in the net and the player in an offside position touches the ball, and they call offside, right? Instead of the player letting it go. So. <clears throat> hold on, hold on. Come on, guys. Everybody is in one half. Yeah. And play. Yes, two. Play it. Good. Find them. Too late. Play. There you go. 
Quickly, goalkeepers move. Ay, ay, ay. And play. Go. Here we go. Find them. Yes. Go. Go. Play. Quickly. Open up. You guys got to prepare yourself for goals. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, everybody uh, understand the concept here? Okay, I'm clear, I'm, I'm moving on because I'm running out of time. And <clears throat> okay, good. Guys, break, take, uh, take the cones off. Goalkeepers, put on your gear, and we'll finish off with the last game. So great, great team. Okay, let's have the two teams. Um, we need three defenders in this half and two attackers uh, in this half on the same field. So the blue team will have three attackers, two defenders, and the gray team has two, uh, three attackers, two defenders. I'm sorry, three defenders, two attackers. Okay, right back, center back, left back, two strikers from the gray team. Huh? Okay. Yeah, go in the blue. Huh? No, you have five. Okay, so now, boys, so here's the story. It's three versus two in your own half, and three versus two in your own half. Defenders on the blue, you, the blue defense here. You can play up to the middle of the field, okay? You cannot cross it yet, okay? Same thing, gray. You can play in your own half. You can use the goalkeeper to back pass the ball to, so it really winds up four versus two in your own half. But you're looking to connect with strikers you can pass the ball forward. You guys can pass the ball back to them, you understand? The idea is either distance shooting for you guys from here, so you can take shots from here, or you guys can take shots from there, or you guys can score in your own half. But you cannot cross midfield. You cannot go here to receive the ball. You have to receive the ball here, okay? So make sure you do diagonal runs, check in, check out, whatever. We'll make the corrections as we go. But the whole idea is speed of play and finishing. Speed of play and finishing. All right, so where's the left back here? Who's playing center back? Who's playing right back? Here we go. All right, so when they have possession, you guys press them, right? And when they have possession, you guys press them. Um, all right, who's better? Ah, forget about it. Here you go. Ready, play. Hold on, goalkeeper. So you can distribute. You see, they're, if they're tied down, you guys can't stand. You can, you can pass, look, you can pass the ball right there. You understand? Ready, play. Turnover. No, no pressure, hits the, the backboard. No goal, play, quicker. Look around.
but it, it, it should be shots coming from all over, from everywhere, you know. Yes, play. Play it, play it. Don't force it. Look back. Back. There you go. Yes. Goalkeeper. Move it faster. Yes. Take a shot. You, uh. Yes. Finish. Great stuff. Play quickly. Take a shot. Take a shot. Boom. Ah, oh, the walls are crying. You know. Ready? Play. Come on. Quicker. Find them. Touch it. Finish. Hold on. So you had a shot. You had a shot in the center, right? Right here. You pass it to him, which it cuts the angle. The chances of scoring from that angle are minimal. This is where you should have taken the shot. Be a little bit selfish, you know. Besides, he can't play anyway. Ready? Play. Ready, play, come on. Don't force it. Don't force it. Good stuff. Find them. Find them, finish. Too late. Finish. Uh, no, okay. Dump it, dump it. Yes. Oh, great stuff. Look at that. Magic, magic, magic. We've got to give him a hand on that one. That was a tremendous, <laughs> tremendous combination play. Don't force it. You're going to beat the whole defense? Dump it. Too late. Finish. Yes. Give it back to him. Find him. OK, you got a shot. Take a shot. You're looking to pass. It's a shooting game. Finish. Boom. Play. Yes. Find the right. You can back pass it. Yes. Find the open player. Shoot. Yes. OK. Hold on. So here's, here's the story, guys. Here's the next step. Here's the next step. So the player in the back, the player in the back, who makes a pass across the midfield line or dribbles across the midfield line can go into the attacking zone. So you can create now four versus two. So if you make the pass to him, you can go into the, this line and now create a four versus two to finish and vice versa. Everyone clear? Ready? Play. Don't force it. Find them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So, you see here? You guys are dead. You have to be in constant. You're standing here. This is the amount of space you have to work with. If they didn't find you, you have to reload and maybe come back here to receive a ball. You can't stand like statues and expect to be successful. You understand? Constant movement. If it's not there, you keep on going. Ready? Go. Great stuff. Ready? Play. Yes. Ay, ay, ay. Everyone clear in terms of uh, the progression of back players going to the attacking zone, right? Yes. Forwards, get away. Yes. Find them. Great stuff. So hold on. Hold on. When you moved and you moved away, it created for him the space to be able to dribble in and take a shot. So you can't just stand. You can't stand. You have to create the space for the back player to come through because they can dribble through. Ready? Play. Dump it. Yes. 
Finish. Thank you. Play. Finish. Great stuff. Uh, now we're getting there. Ready? Play. Play, play, play. Guys, once the play is over, you go into attacking zone, you gotta come back. Yes. Well done. Finish. Yes. Find him. You're forcing it. Give it. Yes, yeah, too late. Yes, yeah, finish. Shot. Hold on. So, so here you are. The two of them are in front, right? If you take a, a hard shot to the goalkeeper, chances of a rebound to one of them are very, very high. So you bypass the opportunity to take a shot where they can clean up the mess that the goalkeeper will create. You gotta think one step ahead. Come on, let's go, play. Yes, come on, come on. Yes. <coughs> Finish. Great stuff. Okay, we'll finish up. Okay, boys, thank you. That's it. Can we give uh, the boys a nice uh, hand? Yeah, they work really, really hard. Okay, so in terms of this concept, everyone is clear or people have any question? So you can have back players overlapping, front players passing the ball back to back players for distance shooting, switch the point of attack, crosses, you can have on a side, there's not enough room here, supporting players. So you can have neutral players that play for both sides, that can play one and two touch, with depending on the, uh, the team that has possession of the ball. If the team has possession of the ball, they can use neutral players to open up defenses. The neutral players deliver it to the balls and, and it becomes like a shooting from everywhere, every angle, everywhere, okay? Thank you very much, great to be here. Have a nice day, and hopefully we'll see you maybe next year. Thank you very much.